Welcome to the instruction video of the iFi. In this video, we will go through the manual functions of a single iFi. For information on how to use the iFi with the app on a Bluetooth device and how to stack multiple units together, you can watch the other videos connected to this one. The casing is made from aluminium, with steel grills protecting the interior components. On the back of your iFi, you will find the touch control panel as well as jacks for the wired AUX input and the power. Note that all the buttons have more than one function, defined by either a double tap or a long press. Before powering on your new Wi-Fi, make sure that the battery is fully charged to ensure that optimal battery capacity and battery life is achieved. To turn the power on, tap once on the power button to ensure that the touch is activated, then long press. Your iFi will turn on, showing its mood like colour while playing the iFi starting sound. To turn the power off, long press the power button. If sound is playing, this will fade out and the light will turn to red and dim away. Now the light on your iFi is pulsating, which means it is ready for Bluetooth pairing. If not pulsating, long press the source select button. Your options are Bluetooth and line in 3.5mm or SPDIF 3.5mm. The unit will detect if a cable is connected to the AUX jack and also what type of cable it is. The appropriate input is selected automatically. If multiple sources are used, a double tap on the source select button will switch between the available sources. If nothing is connected to the AUX jack, Bluetooth is automatically enabled, which we're going to use now. Open the Bluetooth menu in your music device and choose your iFi from the list. You can change name on your iFi and the iFi app. To learn more about how to use Bluetooth connectivity, we refer you to our video on how the app works. Let's put some music on. You control the volume manually by using a combination of the three touch buttons on the left. To increase the volume, swipe from the lower to the upper button. And to reduce the volume, swipe from up to down. To mute, swipe down twice quickly. To unmute, swipe from down to up as you do when increasing volume. Think of it as a juggle that you scroll up and down. Your iFi comes with a mood light function that can be set to different colours and intensity. Hold the light control button until the colours are pulsating to indicate that colour toggle is selected. This means that the volume control now functions as a way to configure the light setting. To change the colour of the light, simply swipe the volume control as previously shown. Like that. Now. To change the intensity of the colour, hold the light control button a second time until the light pulsates and swipe the volume control. To quickly dim the mood light, double tap the light control button. To return to the previously chosen intensity, double tap the light control button a second time. To get back to volume control, long press the light control button a third time. If the light modes are not utilised for some time, the operation will go back to normal volume control automatically. By double tapping the power button, you can check the battery status at any time. The mood light will then correspond with different colours related to the battery status. If the light is green, it means the battery is fully or nearly fully charged. The colours shift in dropping order according to the status of the battery. Lime green, yellow, red and blinking red to indicate the battery status. When battery powered and left unused for 15 minutes, your iFi will turn off automatically. To charge your iFi, use the dedicated power adapter. Connect the adapter to the magnetic iFi power connector and then to an AC power outlet. 
It is at all times advised to follow this order of procedure. To get the most out of your product, an iFi needs some burning time to attain optimum performance and sound quality. You do this by letting your iFi play varying types of music for at least 8 hours at a maximum volume of 70% before cranking the volume all the way up. This is not all that you can do with an iFi. To make sure that you get all of the features including the app and how to stack multiple iFi's, please watch our other videos or download the manual at iFi.se. Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been helpful. Enjoy your new iFi.